Hey guys, what's up? It was figured out that, well, vlog time. A more for HD. Yeah. Well, to be honest, um, I haven't really done that many vlogs lately. I need to improve on that, not just Charles Legacy. And you all know when Morpher does a vlog, is ranting, he's talking about pretty much everything and anything. And uh, you know, it can be about uh, the size of uh, uh, Ronald McDonald's uh, cock or whatever. But yeah, well, uh, there is a lot of. Um, uh, people who think that uh, I only do amnesia videos, only amnesia videos and stuff like that. I really wanted with the new channel that for people, the two Bon Bonge to come and join me, that actually realize that Morpher is not just a horror guy. I Don't get me wrong, amnesia is fun, but I, I don't get the same pleasure out of the ordinary normal custom stories I get a pleasure when they are total conversions and there are totally new environment and they have done it themselves like from furniture to stuff like that that is what gets me excited because that's new to me uh, if they has done a normal one that's like 10 megs I can pretty much spot like when stuff are going to happen, I don't get that scared anymore. So I started doing more indie games, horror games, and also reached out to start playing more, you know, uh, Grand Theft Auto. I'm playing Grand Theft Auto as a motherfucker. I freaking love that game, by the way. Um, I don't know if I would upload anything, but uh, I love it. Uh, also finishing off Metro and uh, LA Noir in uh, uh, 25, uh, 60 times 1440. So thank you YouTube for fucking letting us up upload that uh, that quality. So the quality will be amazing and the quality be will be. Um, uh, I mean the quality will be. Uh, Amazing from now on and so forth. Uh, also, I'm figuring out, figuring out if I'm going to do Bully uh, Scholarship Edition. Uh, I got it from T from Sweden. He usually gives me a lot of games on Steam, uh, and I never really picked it up until a live stream where someone just told, "Oh, hey." <laughs> Play bully! I was like, nah, okay, I do that, and it was pretty fun actually. And um, so yeah, I'm like right there, and um, yeah, something terrible happened yesterday. Uh, it was a big accident here in Huahin. Uh, there was um, 18 dogs uh, transported from Bangkok. Um, and uh, they were transported in a truck and the truck uh, smashed and all the dogs uh, was rushed to our clinic and uh, so I was I was woke up uh, it was actually my second free day so I could edit all the 220 hours worth of videos I have to edit now it's just going to be more and more because I'm going to do the last part of Metro and LA Noir after this. Um, uh, but any, anywho, uh, it, it just ended with me a, a phone call from the clinic, and I was like, "Wait, what? Don't tell me someone has died of them because now I have four of four dogs there." Um, and I was like, "No, no, 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 no," and. Um, it was a head, head uh, guy, and he asked me to come and help them. And I only been schooled by them 
like I'm like I guess no basic stuff I was like and I was tired and everything I was like uh, what uh, okay but how many oh, and when I heard how many it was I was like oh I'm coming directly and on the way there I was in such a panic because I was starting waking up and I drove way too fast but uh, luckily nothing happened but when I came there it was total chaotic uh, people rushing from room to room uh, dogs everywhere dogs with broken legs blood everywhere and stuff like that so um, uh, I asked the, um, the, the head that uh, who knows me best and it's going to work for Charles Legacy by the way he's going to work in our facilities uh, which is kick ass because it's really good. I, I asked him, do you need help? What do you need help with? I can, I know some of the stuff you learned me, have learned me how to stitch and yeah, you know, basic stuff, you know, take temperature and stuff like that. So basically I ran from room to room and just stitched up, uh, stitching up uh, uh, dog's legs or arms or back and Ah, it was terrible, it was terrible. Um, this is why I really need to save up for that GoPro camera so, and the helmet and everything to fit. But the thing is, you can't order it to Asia. So I, have, I need to have someone from UK or US to have... Uh, I can order the two that I can trust. I know someone in the US I don't trust but I know several people in the UK I can trust but you know my money is let's see how much money I have <laughs> poor, 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 uh, poor Morpheus poor, poor. Uh, oh yeah I had 20 bucks uh, I don't need much you know smokes I get for free from Suomi, food free from Suomi, water or uh, Pepsi free from Suomi, Suomi helps me out because he loves dogs and I saved one of his dogs and I helped three of uh, other dogs, but anywho, um, uh, so it was from 7 o'clock to like, I came home like, I don't know, 9, 10 or something and I was totally out of my mind, I, I wasn't myself. I was talking to Felicia or Fila or Sweeticia, a Sweeticia as you know her. Uh, and I was definitely not myself, I couldn't focus, I was like... Because the day went past so fast because it was in... I fucking even got into operating room because they needed help in there. So I got fucking gloves and uh, the shirt, the blue shirt and uh, all that shit uh, and the mask and all that and I had to sterilize myself and shit like that. And just hold pressure and pressure. Uh, the only thing I did there in the operating room was pressure, holding the pressure down and uh, but I saw that dog died, but I can't show emotions, you know? I can't show emotions when I'm there. Yeah, but I think it's more... It, that was definitely not meditation or anything like that. that. That was purely... That was purely adrenaline that kept me going. Because these dogs need to be saved, so we did everything we could. And um, I think we actually did very well. There was only, only, but there was only two dogs that died yesterday. Uh, the rest uh, is at the clinic at the moment. Uh, I've called them. No one have died so far, but uh, there are four there, uh, which is in a very critical state. Uh, and obviously I was crying my eyes out when I went out because of the horrific uh, moment because I never I was like it was like someone just throwing me down in the water or a sea full of sharks 
uh, and I would like be like a fucking shark hunter or whatever. I knew just, I just know a small amount how to do injections and stuff like that and how to take temperature and stitch them and patch them up and all that but you know stuff that I saw was just horrific and the dog's legs was like it was horrific and um, but yeah I was um, they really was proud of me and I, I'm proud of myself that I kept cool and I didn't cry until I went outside 9 o'clock that's like 12 hours later and so you people who want to be volunteers prepare yourself it's not a fairy tale anywho my life my life is good uh, my Muay Thai uh, uh, shorts are ready tomorrow so I can show you Mongon and Muay Thai and all that uh, going to go to Jagmak uh, do the final tattoos one here uh, it's a Muay Thai with his hand like so and the right leg up because that's my strength this is my strength arm this was my strength. I'm right handed. So these I only do. I don't jab much with the right hand. I usually just use it for blocking. But I use it for uh, doing uppercuts because I'm an old golfer. A golfer. And it's pretty much the same because you use your, uh, you use your uh, hip uh, when you, you know, uppercut. So you put, you know, your, your bare foot and shit like that. So you just take a good grip with your back foot, like ba behind yourself. Uh, place your left foot in front of you. And then just turn. Don't, and when you turn, lift up. But keep the foot on the floor, the back, both foot feet. But when you do that, you got keep it like this. And then... And always keep rhythm and when you're ready go for upcut uh, sometimes I go for stomach but sometimes if I see a opening here um, uh, we do have a fight coming up that I really want to live stream and they have 100 100 megabyte and we have found out a, uh, um, a way uh, to stream with my with my good camera you know my real camera but it wasn't really that good uh, I know there was someone who posted that really long message but I can't find it it was like a long message but I could I didn't read it because I was like I read it tomorrow when I wake up but I never it never happened by the way uh, but um, Guys, seriously, Muay Thai is so, so much fun. And I never been in a fight before. Before I was in the ring, we're fighting friendly fights now. But you know, getting smacked when I, you know, getting smacked in the head, you learn from your mistake because I obviously didn't have my glove here. So I always, if I do yab. Always keep whatever you do, you need to protect one side and never go do this. But sometimes they make you do this, and when you make when they make you do this, it's all often a clinch. And um, I've started using my knees uh, a lot now, and uh, more not because I'm so short, it's more like. Uh, I use it to. It's a. It's called a flying, a flying knee. Uh, it's like I take grip f from behind with my right leg, and jump forward to him with the leg with my knee to towards the stomach, just to keep uh, keep him away from me, 
and usually those do not hit. Uh, I just want to keep him away because it's on my terms. It needs to be on my terms. In my bad condition, I I don't I can't last more than two rounds, and it's three rounds. So I need to finish the fight within two fights, uh, two rounds. Um, my stamina is getting better and better and better and better. So I'm really proud of that. But uh, God, it's just you're going to see me. My belly is still big, but when I, <clears throat> you know, do that. It's fucking hard. I never have, I never had this hard, uh, never had this hard stomach ever, because after two hours in the uh, most hottest period of the hours, uh, my trainer makes me do thirty sit-ups every fucking single time, and it starts to show progress. Now he can. S slam kinda hard and he's an old time MMA player 20 30 years but he, you know his leg is fucked up he can't play so he's um, he's a trainer instead and uh, the reason why he focused on me was because I was I was Swede I was um, uh, I did rest uh, rest uh, look uh, I was a bit unordinary and when he felt my first kick and he felt that I actually did have strength in my kicks. Uh, he uh, said that he wanted to teach me and it was a big honor because I've read about him in MMA uh, newspapers and shit because I love it. And I was so afraid the first time I was in the ring but you know uh, because he say okay now you need to stand like this okay Stand like this, okay. Oh no, no problem, no problem. And keep your gloves like this. One here, okay. That's that. And one here, okay. Okay. Now, you need to do rhythm. Yeah, good, good. He said. Now move, move, but keep rhythm. And I just keep moving. And he kept the rhythm. And he, he said, like he was like amazed because that's the hard. That's one of the harder parts of Muay Thai. Uh, to get that into your system, make it natural. But for me, it was natural. And thank you, God, and thank you, Karma, thank you, everything, and thank you, Buddha, uh, that I have been a record seller since I was three years old in my dad's store. Uh, we closed down selling CDs uh, 2001. After that, I will have been a radio DJ. Um, so music has been in my life all the time, so, you know, rhythm is no problem. So, my trainer is a bit of a... he's so sneaky. He, he matched me up against other people that don't use personal trainers. And it's actually not expensive. It's 6,000 baht uh, for 20 sessions, and that's 2 hours, so 40, 40 hours. But it usually ends up being 30... Uh, uh, three hours per session um, so it's well spent money trust me because what you get taught is amazing uh, I know how to block I, I even took down Suomi for fuck's sake Suomi is uh, has been a Muay Thai guy for two years uh, okay he, he, he haven't done Muay Thai for about six months ago but still I took Suomi down uh, Sumi got pretty impressed, but I, I was like, did you fake that just to make me happy? He was not, no, 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 but because Ella was there, my little sister, and he had a small crush on her. Uh, and I was like, um, but she has a boyfriend, so I made sure that nothing happens, and I made sure that Sumi knew she has a boyfriend, so don't do anything because we are best friends and we don't do stuff like that together uh, against each other and uh, but anywho he did a big uh, high kick on me and I was quick enough and grabbed it uh, uh, underneath here and I locked him in position and I <coughs> got a fucking we were with big gloves so we could 
uh, hit each other. So I punched him uh, in the head. So he goes up and uh, I let him go. He goes up. I get a clinch. I get a I get a <sighs> uppercut in the stomach. And after that, he tried to hit me. I blocked it, and then he got a fucking the oh the hardest hit I ever got in my stomach ever. So it took my breath away and he went towards me. I did a knee and then I did my combo. Um, jab, 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 jab. And then uh, fake jab. And he goes like this. No, 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 so you don't know what my teacher have taught me. So I just clinch him, he and he is a Muay Thai, he knows how to go out. But I lock his arms so he can't go anywhere. So he struggled a bit and then 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 I was like mm. But I did a small here. It was a friendly fight, but I said he said, Okay enough enough, you win. Well done. Because he have he have, haven't seen me fight, and he was he was really proud of me, and uh, his mother was uh, also very proud of me, and I'm proud of myself. And uh, it's good to have a hobby, and that's all I wanna share. That's pretty much my theme of this, I guess. Have a hobby, because if your life is stressful and really, you know, it's you know. You have a tough time in your life. Hobby. Hobby helps. Hobbies helps whatever it, it can be. It can be pottery or whatever. For me, I always wanted to learn how to defend myself and always wanted to uh, do Muay Thai. And uh, if age uh, lets me, MMA. But I'm always going to be in, in amateur league, I guess, because in amateur league will be when I come back from my next visa run because I have to fly out of the country. Next time I do my visa run because I've done it three times now I'm at the embassies, uh, so I have to fly. So it's uh, most likely going to be Singapore for a night five uh, Swiss crowns back, and um, I have 60 days and then. Uh, after those days that we knew it with 17 months uh, so I have time to train my Muay Thai and be in the amateur league so people you barn barn who are in the city of Hua Hin maybe you will hear uh, they usually when there are fights on Wednesdays and Fridays they usually announce like the fighters uh, with a car that is going very slow with high sp with really high speakers and uh, they're like tonight uh, and maybe you will hear tonight Mangan Sweetie come from Sweden fighting out of Hawaii Sai Thai uh, Ma also called Mangan Mangan uh, versus whoever um, but yeah, uh, I fucking love it, and that's the point, right? Having you know, having some fun in my life. I'm not saying saving dogs ain't fun. It's just heartbreaking, and I need to have a hundred percent fun. You know, I have one hundred percent fun playing games. The only downside to that is when I edit. That's nothing I like. Um, especially when I have to edit 20 hours and now even more. So let's say it's going to be 26, almost 30 hours of editing. Yay. Oh God. But anywho, uh, if you have any questions about my life, uh, what I'm doing, uh, right now today has been a really quiet day actually just because uh, the interns taking care of the shelters so I've been just recording and editing and now I'm back but uh, I want to tell you that um, I'm going to do uh, um, 
probably going to play. You need to realize I I am a horror guy. I will always be a horror guy. So don't let that uh, comment take you down. Because I will play when there are total conversions, stuff like that coming up, you know. Uh, but you know, Amnesia 2 is coming up, and uh, uh, The Walking Dead is coming up, and you all know I have a contract with uh, the Telltale Games, and I can pretty much just tell you that and that, and I own one of the five only uh, Richardson uh, uh, Clementine caps in the world. Um, uh, what else is there? Uh, I'm thinking of doing a. You remember back in the days when I did test test drives of games? I'm actually going to try to uh, play. Um, see if I can can, can uh, <laughs> uh, say this. This uh, is a tongue tw twister for me. Agri. Agricultural Simulator 2013 Steam Edition. So basically, it's like a farmer. Far, it, it's basically farming uh, uh, the farmer farming simulator. But uh, you know me, I will fuck up. I will it's just more. do whatever I feel like uh, and just fool around, but still do progress. Because I want to progress into the game, but I will make it fun. Because I want to have fun. And if I don't have fun, you won't have fun. Um, Payday the Highs, it's uh, going to be one of the games that uh, the VIBs, uh, the VIB Legends, uh, are going to be able to play with me. So the VIB Legends, um, uh, you can look it up at uh, Shadow's Legacy. If you want to see levels and what uh, amount and so on, and don't forget the meditation. Uh, we did some meditation class uh, after the last live stream because people asked me, uh, uh, and uh, we did ten minutes, and there was so many people who was who experienced a, something, and there was so many people who was so inspired by it and. A lot of people say, oh, you're a great teacher and stuff like that. And that sparked the uh, interest in my mind that maybe I should do something about this. And so now, uh, until uh, I think it's, I have the deadline to sign up. And you sign up by donating uh, for one month, three months, or six months. Uh, it's cheaper, obviously, taking three months, and it's even cheaper to take six months, obviously. But um, everything is on YouTube, uh, face Facebook, by the way, uh, where I uh, give you three hours a week. Where my final goal, especially for six hours, uh, for six month people, um, to show you another world. Um, it's hard to understand that shit because a lot of people don't believe in it. But meditating is not Buddhism. Meditating is in. It doesn't even have anything to do with religion, basically, because all kinds of people, no matter religion, does uh, meditate. They do meditate. Uh, and they do meditate for a reason. And that reason is what they experienced during the live stream when I was the teacher. So if you're interesting, interested about it, go check it out. And, um, and if you were there, please write your comments. Like, uh, how did you feel? How did, what, what's your experience? And so on and so forth. Because it's better to hear you guys see what other people had in mind. But let me know what games I would play. Should I play Bully? Should I play the... Yeah, fucking around with the... Uh, uh, the, um, uh, the, yeah, the simulator. And... Um, what are other games is out there that I could play, do you think? Obviously, don't you, you don't have to mention that 
there is oh there isn't this new if there is a new horror game i will know about it because i play horror games that's my ba main focus but i want my new channel to be yeah 60 40 in the horror games genre's uh, advantage um of gameplays <laughs> And uh, more far, my old channel, uh, don't worry, I'm not deleting it, it will still be there, uh, but it will be a vlog channel when uh, the contract with the game station is over and I can uh, be contracted with uh, uh, my new network instead. So, yeah. So, yeah, give me some advice. I mean, you don't have to say any horror games because I have a pretty good idea where to find the horror games. But, like, if you know any other fun games, you know, new games, mainstream games, uh. so on, um, sorry. I'm working my ass, ass off, I know, but I'm going to get, um, a vacation next month uh, so I'm playing my ass off so you guys have plenty of material to watch when I go on um, vacation with one of the bomb on actually um, um, but uh, yeah well I mean I want to do bully the scholarship like into a series because a series you found it really funny especially when I uh, understood how the fuck uh, the my Xbox controller worked with it, and I want to do a test drive, test the game of the simulator. If it's fun and if it gets good response, I'm just going to go ahead and do another, you know, you know, more fire derping, more fire the derp. Farmer, whatever, <laughs> call it call it whatever you want. There are also games like Re Remember Me and stuff like that, but I feel it's a bit, a bit. I don't know. I've uh, I played it the game a bit, but I feel <laughs> it's it's a bit um, too streamlined. It's like you don't have any choice. But um, also, uh, well, to that special someone, there is a special someone. Um, thanks for being there for me, okay? I need it more than ever now. Um, yeah, this is more for rant, more for vlog. Like, okay, yeah, guys, I love you. Bon bonge. You watch the vlogs. You're the true bon bonge because you you are the ones that knows me. Because I speak what comes to mind. I don't give a fuck if it's about. Oh my god, I have a on or whatever. Yeah, you get my point. I talk about pretty much everything so if you have any questions or recommendations whatever comment 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 like and favorite like a motherfucker I can track it you know so please do that I, the new channel really needs comments likes and favorites so come on people do it for me um, uh, and I hope you like this new, well, uh, there's nothing fancy in the background, maybe, maybe I put something fancy in the background, but this is like the best I could do with my green screen I have, because I only, I can only afford a blanket, um, a green blanket, and that's pretty much it. I know, I know, I know, it's, uh, I feel like a trash, but I, I you see how much money I have. I I, I don't have much money, and uh, I don't know how we go to re uh, uh, raise another five thousand Swedish crowns uh, for not only the puppets but uh, for um, 
also the fans for um, why is it high to fans around the area uh, because uh, there is a around you know, a couple of arounds that killed two dogs so far um, so I'm not comfortable about leaving them there now so either me and my uh, God who has a shotgun. I take uh, the, my. It's like a. It's like a fucking spear, and we go out and try to find him. But they are quick as a motherfucker. Not even. Not even like Koala or Guard Dog can catch him. That's how fast he is. It's like. A, how can a fucking big lizard run like fucking Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, it blows my mind. Anywho, people, I've talked too much. I love you. Pussy Kromala Bonmon. See you soon.